Today is Saturday and basically I'm gonna go get the oil changed in the car because I have spring break coming up uh, I'm actually should have got the oil changed a couple miles ago like I told you guys in a previous video I do my oil changes every few thousand miles so I'm kind of late on that my car is filthy right now let's go ahead and get to the dealership and get it changed out because I can't do it here so I have to let someone else do it for me Alright guys, so we just arrived at the dealership and seeing some nice Mustangs sitting out here. Lightning blue. Explorers and we're just coming in here to get some service. Alright, so they're gonna go ahead and sit here and change the oil and basically rub through the tires and while they do that, we are gonna go out and explore and see what's out there on the lot. And looks like Okay, I, from a distance I thought this was a boss, but I'm not sure what it is. I see these badges and this looks back to market because that's not leveled on if you guys can see that. But it's kind of weird. But that high performance 427 is not leveled. And one of the dealer guys is going to come out here and bug me. I know it's going to happen, but this, this looks like a regular GT performance pack with the brim bells on front. So we got the Grabber Blue, the Lightning Blue, uh, Oxford White, and then a Black V6. Uh, I think, what is this? Uh, that's an EcoBoost 5050. It's nice Mustangs out here. Yeah, I just, I just love for it, honestly. Like, I don't get how, if you're in the cars, there has to be a Ford out right now that catches your eye, because Ford is just, in my opinion, dominating competition. Of course, I got the flappy guy out here jumping around and stuff, wailing his arms. One day, man, I tell you, I'm gonna own one of these trucks, King Ranch. Not okay, probably not the King Ranch because I don't really like the color of the interior because it's like a tan brownish thing going on, but it still looks good, man. EcoBoost, 3.5 liter twin turbo, 365 horsepower at the crank. And like I know the trucks, you don't get them to make them fast, but those things can't haul. The zero to sixty times in those things are pretty decent, especially for a truck that big. They got a whole bunch of them just lined out of here, man. And then Street Speed, uh, Street Speed Seven One Seven put this on his channel the other day. I think uh, um, I forgot his the guy who does the wraps for his car, but uh, these trucks are so big now, like. Like, one drove by me when I was on campus the other day, and uh, I just... Look at the freaking headlights, man! Like, it's enormous. Oh, man. Things are freaking gorgeous. And then you got the dualies over here. These things are... All these trucks are beautiful, man. 6.7 liter power stroke, F350. wonder what the price... Look at the inside of that, man. Jeez, Ford, you are literally these trucks are limousine quality interior. Sixty-four thousand for that. Sixty-four grand. I probably can't, I, I'm too short to even see if the camera can focus up there, but maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But yeah, that that is some beautiful stuff right there. Trucks are gorgeous. 
I want one of these one day. Probably not a dually, but uh, like this red one right here, I'd probably get my spec, maybe a shorter bed, because that is uh, maybe the six foot bed, but that that's nice right there. But um, while I'm out here, I'm basically gonna explain to you guys what I plan on doing to my car. Um, basically, I do want to lower it because the extra power that I have on the car is kind of making the car squat more than it was, and it does kind of squat a decent amount from the factory. Now, it's nothing terrible. I mean, it's not like you see my whole car like drop and I'm like scraping or anything like that. But the extra power once I, once I'm in the gas is kind of squatting. And uh, basically, I was learning that if you add springs to your car, you improve handling, cornering. Uh, and stuff like that going around turns and stuff so it's something that I want to do to the car and I also want to do it for the appearance and personally it's not really a ride issue um, or really a handling issue but I know it gets better but as most people will tell you in reviews that the handling of the Mustang from factory is pretty good as far as body roll now it's there but it's nothing terrible and it's definitely hand handleable and especially with my v6 I have the lighter and lightest nose out of all three, believe it or not, the EcoBoost is 50 pounds heavier than the uh, V6, and that was surprising to me, but it is true. So, uh, I do have the lightest nose, and like I was saying, the springs I want to basically add to the appearance and, you know, uh, improve the car's handling. And remember, uh, previous video I talked about these tips that Ford doesn't care about the tips. This one looks like it's rusting a bit. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways... So I do want to find that nice line of basically adding stuff to the car and uh, power wise and then visual because I want to do a nice blend and what's uh, I'm trying, also trying to do that through basically uh, finances too because like I said not the richest person in the world I am in college I have putting school first financially so you know I'm trying to uh, Liberty is a private school um, not terribly expensive not ter uh not really cheap so I am trying to balance that so I put that before my car and then what's also modifications the headers and stuff that's like 700 basically around $700 once you get the uh, the headers and the BBK um, off-road H-pipe or the catted H-pipe which I plan on getting so I actually do have the finance to do that now it's just that I'm not comfortable with spending money. I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I'm not the type of person to spend money uh, if I don't have a source of income. And I do have all that money saved up from when I worked over the summer, and I could do it now, but it just doesn't make any sense because, I, I, if you guys can understand, I just it doesn't make any sense for a person to throw a whole bunch of money into a car out of all things. And I'm in school, like I already mentioned, and hopefully you guys understand. So. Like I said, I just, it doesn't make any sense. If I don't have a decent source of income, then why would I throw all this money into my car? So that's why my, I guess if you want to call it build, um, is going to take its uh, time. This is a pretty color, but my build will take its time. Uh, it will not come fast, unlike a whole bunch of other YouTubers, which I'm not saying it's nothing wrong, but they do have, one, their videos are getting a butt ton of more views so they can add stuff to the car left and right. Because uh, basically the subscribers are paying for it, their viewers are paying for it, and uh, YouTube pays them a decent amount of money. But um, that's not me right now. Uh, maybe it will be in the future. That'd be really cool. But who knows? And while I was walking by looking at all these beautiful Ford Fusions, these are some really nice colors for it. And the back ends of these have really improved too. They kind of like have a really nice curve to them. Anyways, but there's a Focus ST out here, and it is beautiful. I like this color. It looks like a purple almost it's probably a blue but it looks really dark purple especially with these wheels it makes it pop a lot more I suspect with the Recaro bucket seats Focus ST and a Fiesta ST was actually another car I was looking at with my uh, before I got my Mustang and you know, I'm glad I got the Mustang, but I feel like these still would have been a lot of fun, uh, especially the Fiestas. I'm not sure if I would have got tired of the Fiesta after a while because I feel like it's one of those cars that a lot of people say you have fun in, and of course you do have fun in it, but like the BRZ and stuff, I feel like, so like Super WRX fan, he kind of, he likes his BRZ, but the impression that I kind of got is that sometimes the power lacked a little, and I feel like that could be the case with the Fiesta, even though when... You are on back roads tearing it up and everything like that. That'd be a lot of fun, but that is not me most of the time when I'm trying to merge on the highway and stuff. So the power of my Mustang is probably better suited for me. And I do like to be, I guess, 
fast. I know my Mustang is not the fastest, especially with the V6 engine, but you get what I'm saying. I'm definitely faster than the Fiesta ST. And I'm, just, I'm gonna look at these cars again because they put stripes on this GT. It didn't come like that from the fact. Oh, this is just the GT performance pack. Uh, actually, the wheels on the performance pack is something I was looking at getting for my car. And a lot of people, my thing is, if I'm gonna get wheels for my car, I don't want it to look like it came like that from the factory, but these wheels, in my opinion, are just so gorgeous, especially on the blue, because I think what I'm going to do is basically the blue and black combination for my car, and I might do a blue and silver one day, but I think right now blue and black is where I'm going to go with my car, as far as black spoilers and all this other stuff. Another nice Mustang. It's really dirty, though. All right, so boom, guys, we're back inside. Um, yeah, I know the editing of this video has been really jumpy, and I apologize for that. But um, not, not really, didn't really plan out this video. Just decided to go show you guys what was going on today. Basically, more of a vlog style, I guess you could say. But I'm basically, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, like I said, next mod is probably gonna be spring, so we're gonna do it over spring break. I'll let you guys know what I'm going with. Hopefully, I can put it on the car, car over spring break. If not, then I guess I'll just have to try and figure out a place to do that here at school, but subscribe, like, you know, all that good stuff, and see you in another video.